Beautiful, Windows 11. E5, 2637 V3, not supportive of Windows 11, but I found a way. Yep, still updating, no problems, despite being a unsupported CPU. Okay, so 3166. All right, I won't finish the test, but I'll just get it started. And now I can give a good tutorial on how to store good old games from your server to your current PC. Good old games. going to download from here okay so once you've downloaded the client and you'll sign into your account you're going to see all of our own games okay so nice collection zero installed but never mind that here's one that i prepared earlier all right in the process of editing this video it just came to my attention that good old games had an update and the way you discover games has slightly changed um i'm going to go through the process as quickly as i can um should note that although I have it on a separate network, on my network, if you're doing a fresh install of your OS um, and you have a, say, mechanical hard drive, you can go through all the steps that I've shown you in this video to put it on your mechanical hard drive. But in my case, I do have a storage server. So I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to go through the process. All right, and we want, uh, we just go Cyberpunk. Copy. All right, and we go to my actual PC, DC, program files games boom all right now that i've got it off the unraid server in your case it might be just a hard drive that you prepared for your clean os rather than downloading the game you can go back to good old games installed yep function no longer here but in our case we just go to discovery scan folder same function this pc boom and there's our cyberpunk Select folder, and it should shop it out. And so there we go, and we can play it now. Just gonna download my saved games from the cloud. Oh, keep in mind this is a, we'll get more on that. Okay, so that's the box that I showed you before. We've got what we got in the system. Dual 2637 version three, memory. I was just say 64 gigs of RAM, hard drive. It's a 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive, internet. Bleh. It's just a gigabit. Uh, gigabit connection graphics card now the graphics card is a four gigabyte um, rx 550 so very bottom of the range in terms of performance and i'm going to see if i can run cyberpunk i'll be showing um on screen metrics and yeah we'll go from there Resizable bar, I'd like to know. Resizable bar, yeah, they wouldn't give it to me. Schmucks. Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood, thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed, because the end. Alrighty, first of all, let's get this game set up. Uh, setting gets go. Uh, disable copy and write music, nice. Nudity sensor, yes, as I am recording. Thank goodness for that. Oh boy, are we going to enjoy this. So let's see if we can maintain 60 frames a second or more or less. What do I have to do to be able to maintain? Why is the GPU temperature so high? WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka I forgot to put a custom Bashi fan on the, a custom curve fan Early on the GPU. Early first reported that the assailant struck as the parade was in full swing. Whoa. 
Ooh. Ooh. 19 frames a second. Hmm. Let's just go for a quick drive. Yep, as you would expect, this is absolutely awesome. Settings, gameplay, graphics, let's go to it. Yeah. Okay, so I really wanna. Sure. Alright, let's apply. Uh, target frames per second, let's see if we can. Anything less than 60 gives me a headache. Okay, we've got a 60 frame. Mm. Yeah, we're definitely getting higher. Oh man, this is dreadful. Now for Steam. Got all these games, none installed. This one's a little bit different. Backup restore games. Excellent. Okay, this is what to do if you've got a Steam. Let's go to your network storage. Show more options. Map network drive. So you have to do this for Steam. And what are we going to call this? I normally call it G, but let's go. You know what? Let's stick with Z. Plan Z. Finish. Boom. Select. Yes, we want 3D mark beyond two souls. Let's not for this time. Crisis remastered. Oof. Actually, no, I'll put the original on. Can it run the original Crisis? Ah, like Detroit and Doom Eternal. All right, these two will do. Oh, wow, we're really running out of this space already. Yes, of course I agree. Now this is going to be interesting because it's downloading in a compressed state, so I don't know if it would go to full. Yeah, it's not downloading much faster than my actual internet. My internet's almost this speed. I really hope that. There we go. Oh, work itself out. It is in a compressed state, but it's, it's nothing to do with the process. It's got plenty of. Alrighty, now that we've finished that annoying process, boom. Alrighty, and now we're going to go through the process of downloading an Origin game, but instead using your full game save file. A little bit tricky this time. Open Origin, I want to download Crisis. Yeah. Remember that, because that's where we're going to go get the file. We don't want to create a shortcut. I'll get to that later. Oh, why? All right, just give it a little bit. All right, let's pause the download. Oopsies. Yeah, I'm gonna fool. Ah, there's Crisis. Awesome. Now we know that we haven't downloaded it yet, but that's no problem. I go to my Unraid server, Steam game really need to change that name. Oh, look at all that. The f uh, copy, boom. Excellent. Now I'm pretty sure we can just go to resume download. It's going to do a check.
and completed. Excellent. And that's how we save a lot of time. Download once, use many times. Excellent. Fantastic. Alrighty. Now that we've got that, got that installed, let's, let's do a benchmark. Include a demo. Oh my, no, we definitely don't want that. Alrighty, let's see how well we run. Keep in mind this is being recorded on a completely separate system, so it's not going to affect the performance of this run at all. And we're live. Eight frames a second, oh the joy. You know, to the computer's credit, it hasn't crushed. So it's running for the benchmark set. Oh, how wonderfully. And the CPU test. This is what's doing all the lifting. It's definitely not the GPU, that's for sure. Ah, it's much smoother. Very nice. Come on, utilize 100%. Let's go. I reckon it's going to be a legendary score. Load of results. Oh, yeah. Legendary. Wow. Nice. Alrighty, that concludes this video. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. It was a little bit unfortunate that good old games decided to do a bit of an update. Also, it did give me an opportunity to insert that, yes, if you're doing a clean um os installation you can just use a normal hard drive and the methods that were shown in this video will be applicable and this is just a little bit of a parts list but anyway i left a little treat at the end of this outro and remember if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe this has been project smith tech signing out peace all right quick unboxing of the z 590 this is the 11th um, gen motherboard Let's have a quick, come on, focus. Yeah, good enough.
our motherboard and look what we have here m.2 with direct pci to the cpu could you imagine any other way m.2 here goes to the chipset then eventually makes it way to the cpu how long does it take a nanosecond 50 nanoseconds maybe even all day i don't know i don't have time for that though what i do have time for is direct boom the 11th gen and this is the beginning no better platform